Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another Black Series video. This time we're looking at the 6 inch General Veers. Um, got this one a couple of days ago, uh, yesterday. And I've got a second one in the mail today with uh, Admiral Piet, who I'll be reviewing next. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where this one came out came from. This is a bit of a left field. I can't even think of where it's an exclusive to. Um, if it is even an exclusive. Um, yeah, it's just popped up on a few sites and I've seen a few people get it. So, yeah, it's a it's a great figure too. Um, I just don't recall it being sort of previewed or, you know, have any solicited images come out of this guy beforehand. So he's just kind of snuck on out there with Admiral Piet, which is the uh, online exclusive. But uh, we'll have a good look at this guy. Um, again, I'll probably keep this one in the box for now. Um, I'd like to maybe customize it, so I'll do a head swap, so I've got another Imperial officer, but I don't know. I like, I really like this figure. Um, I wasn't intending on getting two, but it just sort of worked out that way, the way I was buying them online. And uh, yeah, one of them I got for a better price, so I decided to snatch one up and um, keep it boxed, because I really like General Veers. And yeah, I really like this figure. Series on the box. There's no number, so... It is an exclusive. A little write up on the back. A cool and efficient officer, General Veers, led the Imperial assault on Hoth, marching his ATAT walkers across the planet's frozen plains and destroying the massive generators powering the Rebel base's protective energy shield. So we see this guy in two forms, obviously, just in his uh, general um, officer outfit there with the officer cap. And then we see him with the armor when he's uh, pilot leading the attack in the ATAT. Excuse my dogs in the background, they're being idiots. All right, so let's have a look at the figure itself. This is a absolute doozy of a figure. I'm really, really impressed with this one. I actually really like the look of him with the armor on. Um, and if we're gonna get more officers and stuff like that from the Empire, this is definitely gonna make him sort of stand out from some others. Because yeah, he's, he's really, really good. Um, let me get a close look at the sort of chest armor there before I take this off. So we've got the holster that is attached to that piece. Then we've got the back plate, which looks pretty nice. And then the helmet. Goggles on top, sort of chin strap sits nicely around his chin with the, uh, I guess it's the little microphone there for his communicator that's built into his helmet. And the goggles sitting on top which are attached. So we'll pop that helmet off. We'll get a look at his head sculpt. Obviously it's sort of, mold, his head's probably molded to uh, fit the helmet a little nicer um, and considering we don't see him without his helmet um, and hat we can just assume that's what his hair looks like I wonder if they had a bit of a creative license for that it's pretty basic but uh, yeah the digital face painting tech that they're using these days are um, Definitely having an advantage because figures like this and they're coming out and they look like the actor actors are just It's just a remarkable thing and that's one of Hasbro's best moves they've made in this line um, And hopefully they can use that tech in the three and three quarter inch line in the future All right, let's pop off this chest armor There we go, there's just a peg on the side, and then you just lift it over the head, and pop his cap on, and then we have him just in his sort of officer uniform, and his officer rank badge, the code cylinders sort of just in the side there, it's a uh, 
remolt, it's the redo of uh, the Tarkin body. But I think I'm just trying to to look at the moment. I think just the rank badge may be different. I can't tell from here. But uh, yeah, just some slight slight retooling on some bits. There's the back of the uniform. Black gloves, shiny black boots, which look fantastic. But yeah, great opportunity to get some of these, some of these background characters. I mean, they're pretty prominent in the Empire in the original trilogy. I'd like to see some more First Order officers. I think that would be cool. Articulation. It's got the ball jointed head. Ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists. The torso joint there, just above the belt. Uh, ball hinged hips, swivels at the... Yeah, swivels at the calves there. Double joint in the knee and hinge at the bottom of the ankles. So, good range of articulation for a figure that's probably not going to do a lot um, on display. But, still a great figure. And we'll just quickly redress him. In the armor, so I'll show you how easy it is to put back on. Let's wrap that belt around. Put it a little bit tight, and that pops in. And his blaster Actually, is holsterable and droppable too. There it is. the helmet back on and there we have him General Veers thank you for watching guys let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, stay tuned for Admiral Piet who will be coming up next so until then may the force be with you guys